in this i'm going to show you how to use the script i'll also explain all the features of the script first of all you have to transfer the script into the linux machine and to transfer we can use several tools like winscp filezilla and any other tool you like if you don't know how to transfer file to the linux machine then you can check out my videos regarding winscp and filezilla okay now let's ssh into our linux machine to do this you can use windows command prompt or any other uh, software you want or any other tool you want okay so ssh into the linux machine with root user Uh, server IP SSH root at the rate server IP and hit enter. If it is the first time you are logging to your machine, then uh, it will ask for accepting the fingerprint. Just type yes and hit enter. Now type the password. Okay, I'm in the server. Let's clear the screen. Okay, ls. Now you can see I have already transferred the script into this machine. So first we have to make it executable by this command chmod plus x then the script name and hit enter. Now we are all good to go to run the script. To run the script type dot slash then the script name and hit enter. It will start the installation of this of squid and it will take around 2-3 minutes depends on the network and the server. So I'm going to pause the video. Once the installation has been finished, I will uh, resume the video. And remember, do not interrupt during installation. Okay, here we go. Installation has been finished. As you can see, MSS Squid Proxy has been installed successfully. So let's clear the screen. Now run the script one more time go to get those options. So now you can see all these options around 20 options we have so i will explain all the options one by one so first try from one number one is add ip to server so press one and hit enter now it will ask for the for your subnet or ip so you can add single ip or you can add full subnet you purchased or you have okay, let's say try from single ip first 10.10 it entered you can see it has been added now check our available proxy option 2 you see we have one proxy available and here is the IP address so now let's say you have purchased uh, two subnets like let's say uh, this one and this one your uh, subnet so just copy the subnet and here just choose option 1 and paste the subnet and hit enter okay script will automatically add all the IPs in the um, subnet okay now check out the available proxy you see 510 is available total so now let's add another subnet of slash 24 it will be similar just subnet info with the idea and hit enter check again see 763 in total available proxy so now let's go for option 3 add user let's say username is test123 and for the username make sure you will use only the small letters and numbers you can also use the combinations of small letters and number but do not use capital letters special character or anything for the username hit enter now it will ask for the port number in between 2100 to 2200 let's say 2105 I can modify this range uh, according to your requirements, so no worries about it. Hit enter. Now it will ask for the validity in days. Let's say 10 days as validity for the user. Hit enter. Now it will ask for the password 
for the password you can choose anything capital letters numbers special characters anything you like hit enter you see user has been added successfully so now check our user and box expired it with option 6 okay here is the user and here is the expired date so if i show my today's date of the system is 13 january plus 10 days of its validity so it's in total 23 days sorry i mean uh, 23 of january okay so let's run the script one more time now we have two options to assign proxy to this user we can assign uh, by amount or you can assign by range so let's try with amount okay username test one two three Hit enter now it will show display all the available proxy so 763 in total available so let's say we are going to assign 20 proxy to this user hit enter so 20 proxy has been assigned to this proxy so it will just sort uh, the available list then assign okay with option 8 we can uh, check our uh, user proxy test 1 2 3 enter you can see the user proxy IP then port number of the user then username and the password Okay. We can also export the user proxy by option 16. Okay. Now it will export the username. You see, user proxy is available at this location, at root location. So let's check. Here it is. Let's check. Okay. okay. So simple. You can also export and you can also show whatever you like. Now run the script one more time. Now let's assign some proxy to the to the same use user by range. Okay, with option five. First check our available proxy one more time. Okay, let's say we will assign proxy to this user from this range. Okay, from this range. So option five. It will export the username test one two three. Now it will export the network address of this range. So network will be this one. Okay, paste it. Hit enter. Now it will, it will export the start IP and start. We will start from two forty and we will uh, assign up to two fifty in total ten proxy. So two forty to 250 hit enter see okay now check with option 8 verify it test 1 2 3 here it is now option 7 is modify user expiry date I have already showed option 6 option 7 is user modi modify users expiry date so option 7 it will ask for the username test 1 2 3 is the username it will display the user expiry date so it's 23 of January so let's say we'll increase another seven days so seven days hit enter and let's check our user expiry date now with option 6 you see it's 13 of January 30 of January okay previously it was 23 of January now it is 30 of January okay now option 8 I have already showed you option 9 I will skip it for now but I will uh, show you end of the tutorial okay now option 10 delete user proxy by amount so it is the similar, almost similar as assign proxy to the user. So with option 10, okay, username test123, we want to revoke some proxy from this user by amount. Okay, 
okay we can see total user proxy is 31 let's say we'll delete 10 proxy from this user so 10 proxy has been deleted okay you can see okay we can verify with option 8 so you can see it's deleting from 2020 series so option 8 you can see starting from 11 now because it's deleting up to 10 deleted up to 10 so now we can also delete user proxy by range as similar as we have assigned proxy by range okay it's option 11 so we are going to delete user proxy by range from this range okay 20 20 11 to 20 it's option 11 username test one two three network address will be 20.20.20 .20 hit enter we'll start from 11 and up to 20 okay and ip let's put a false ip as well as 20 and let's say we'll uh, put 21 as well let's see how skipped handle this error hit enter you can see it's deleting deleted all these ips but when it comes to 21 it just said invalid ip address invalid address okay because this ip is not assigned to this user so we can see use uh, script can handle this kind of error as well okay now check our user proxy to verify okay so all 20 series has been deleted okay now it's time for deleting user so before we delete user let's check our available proxy so you see 752 in total so if we delete this user like uh, if you when you choose option 12 then it will uh, display all the user available so we are going to delete test one two three then when we delete this user then all proxy available for this user will automatically in the available list so just remember the number now total available is 752 we're going to delete the user Okay, user has been deleted. So now check our available proxy. Two, you see, it's now 763 in total. Okay, now option 13 is shutdown proxy. It means it will just uh, stop the squid ser server. Uh, and option 14 is start the uh, squid server again. So it's so simple if, if you if you want to somehow if you want to stop the squid service then just choose option 13 if you if you want to start the squid service again the uh, choose option 14 i'm going to skip this part you can check by yourself it's so simple okay now option 15 export available proxy as uh, you can also check the available proxy by option 2 you can also export this number as well let's check it out option 15 you see available list is here so let's check it out you can see here it is okay these are the available list okay now run the skip one more time okay option 16 i have already showed you and option 17 is for blacklist so let's check it out 17 hit enter it will ask for the domain name you want to block so let's say we will block google.com just type google.com and make sure you will type only the domain no url okay just the domain name uh, you type the google.com and it will only block this google.com okay hit enter it will just take some time because it will reload the squid it's done so now you see that domain has been blacklisted 
so now check our blacklist option 18 you see google is in the list as you can also see that there is another domain that is test.com it is automatically added during installation um, i did it because uh, if we uh, put empty in the SEL, then uh, it will uh, display some uh, warning so that's why to avoid the warning message i have just put this test.com you can remove it no problem just it will uh, display a uh, warning so it's not a problem at all so now let's delete the blacklist uh, now with option 19 just type the domain name it's so quick domain google is, is now quite listed now verify option 18 you see only test.com is remain so now let's delete ip from server it's option 9 before i delete let's add a user Okay. So now I send some proxy to the user as well. Okay. So I send proxies from 20 series. Okay. So now let's delete uh, the IP from the server. So what happen if we delete the full 20 block i mean the 20.20.20.0 slash 24 then what happened for the user proxy let's check it out hit enter so it's deleting all the ips for this block okay now check our user proxy what happened let's see test you see only 10 series proxy is available because uh, 20 series is, has been deleted from the server okay so let's also delete a single ip from the server it's 10.10.10 10. 10. okay now check out is the proxy test you see user doesn't have any IP or user doesn't exist so it's so simple and option 20 is just exit you can use option 20 or just hit enter both will work so uh, doesn't matter okay this script can be customized according to your needs so uh, you can uh, contact me uh, for modification to purchase the script so you can just contact me uh, in discord or email me or if any confusion you can also contact me no problem okay thank you